Diamond Dust. Yeah, that's what we got. It's neat, but it's that's not fine. It's not really that. Dude, helpful. look at that. Like 11 less strength. Yeah, it's Yikes. It's bad compared to this. That's so, bad. The next secret boss we have, oh, we have to save first. Can you save? Save on 69. No, 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 I'm good. I don't want to cuz you told me to. Wow. There's actually one um there's one more here, but we're not fighting him yet cuz he's super difficult. Yeah, we need to be level, like, 8,000. 8,000? I mean, I think we're fine to fight the one on Agrabah. Agrabah. Have you seen, by the way... Are you going to say Rule 34? No, okay. no. Jasmine's really hot, though, so no. Uh, I wouldn't know? No. Not Rule 34 of Jasmine. No, that's. I definitely I, would not know. I wasn't going to ask you if you saw Rule 34 of Jasmine. Because I have not seen that, definitely. Me neither. Like, how much time do we have to record here? Like, I was thinking we could look up some Rule 34. Of Jasmine. I'm gonna cut this out. I wanna maybe do like another minute. Okay, another minute. I'll okay. cut this out, then we'll like go look at Jasmine's tickle bitties. Can, can we actually look at the carpet rule 34? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm about to ride the carpet, oh, so man, ride them so, so hard. Honestly, this is this is a big deal in Kingdom Hearts. Oh. This is the Sora's awakening. Oh, look at them ride it's like that the movie, carpet. It's like the movie The Color or the book The Color Purple. You remember that book where it's about a sexual awakening? I don't remember that book, but okay. I'm very well, interested. You should see it. I had to read that. Wait, really? In yeah. The, in what? In high school? College. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Did, did you? Uh, I don't remember this. I don't know what that does. Did you experience an awakening? I feel no. like I got to ask this. Uh, no, I did not. Okay, so it didn't work. I think those are bad. What if that was his health? That would be insanely easy. <sighs> what if? Thank you. That's my response. <laughs> okay. Would it? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy has nothing to do with the story. He's cool, but this is Kurt Aziza. I feel like Kurt is like the name of uh, the male version of Karen. I thought we established that, that was like Bradley or something. <laughs> I thought it was uh, Francis. Wasn't no. it like Jerry? No, no. Not Jerry. Um, Greg. Greg, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like the. I feel like Kurt is like Greg's son. Hmm. A fair point. Because you know how there's like different stages of Karen? Like there's Karen, and then like the super Karen is Susan. Oh really? I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, it's like an internet meme. Like the. Well, I know the internet meme, I just didn't know that. Yeah, it's like Karens can upgrade to Susans. Oh, okay. I don't know how to take the shield out. Ether? <laughs> Their shields are still up! I honestly don't know. What well, if you try like hitting him? Oh, magic does it. I think that's what it is. I think you have to magic. You have to. Well, and you have to bring like a bunch of elixirs. Yeah, that kind of sucks because I don't have a bunch. Can you even buy elixir? Uh, no. Well, we can make them. I think. Oh. Okay. Well, we can keep picking these up at least. Well, this would be easier. If Donald would do something. Yeah, that's like asking for a miracle. <laughs> what are you looking for here, Donald? To Donald, do try to do something. It's like, yeah, what do you, right. what do you want here? Don, are Donald and Goofy two of the most useless like companions ever in a video game? <laughs> like actually? No, no, no. The Dream Eaters are worse. Okay, but that still doesn't make these good. Are they still some of the worst companions in games? I think in so. In terms yes. of actually like helping you. As I a think player. so. Yes. I honestly think so too. So you're like almost done with this, actually. Uh, oh, kind of. You're, oh, you're yeah, almost I'm on like the last bar. I'm cursed right now, so I can't activate my um, magic. So that's why you have to take out these balls. Like, the, like this guy grabs balls, and you have to take them out. You have to like whack his balls. Yeah. Like, give should we make that joke again 500 times? You remember <laughs> when you had to keep making that joke? You got to give him some like ball torture. I, yeah, I'm gonna die. Okay. Um, Is there any lore to this guy at all? I don't know. Maybe it's explained in, like, the Kingdom Hearts comics. Oh! But I don't know. Because I know how, like, lore-heavy the comics are. Oh, hey, after this, we should read the Ansem reports. Oh, yeah. We've been, like, meaning to do that for two weeks now. Yeah, should we just, like... <clears throat> well, we'll do it at the end of the video, like, whatever the video is. Because, like, I would say we'll start with it, but I feel like that will bore people and they'll leave. 
So, <laughs> well, people are like, ew, reading, yuck. <laughs> ew, intelligent ew, things. Ew, knowledge. I'm stupid. I can't handle it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like reading. <laughs> oh, no. Not no, no, but here's the catch. We're reading to you, so you're not actually reading. Exactly. Can you heal? Yeah, we're just going to do that. Trying to tell you how to play here. Well, I did it to you on Ice Titan, so that's okay. And I lost, so... Well, and then I won immediately on the first try, so... There you <laughs> go. It's interesting, isn't it? Jeez. Well, this is like basically where you lost before. Why didn't, why didn't that do impact? Did I just not hit it? Well, you, you didn't make enough of an impact for it to work. Like, you had... You basically had to post it on Instagram. Okay. You have to start like posting like blank colored images on Instagram, and then then it'll make an impact. Do you like how that's become a meme? Yeah. I feel like that. I feel like that was well intentioned, but it's like very toned down because it's, it's like you didn't help. It's well intentioned, although like you said, it didn't do anything because it didn't help. It's like if you want to help, go out there and actually peacefully protest. Right. That's like how you're gonna do something. It's like you're, you're not gonna change anything. But it actually is peacefully protesting. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, but like is, no but... one's paying attention. Do you think the government checks Facebook to see what you think or Instagram? They well, don't care. I I actually saw a video of the CEO of racism. He was like crying <laughs> after he saw an all black image on Instagram. Who is the CEO of racism? <laughs> Uh, I feel like it'd be like George Zimmerman or something. <laughs> like I don't allegedly. know. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> I don't know. For a second, I was going to say, is George Zimmerman dead? And then I'm like, wait, no, he's not. Maybe like the old KKK leader, like David Duke. David Duke. Yeah. He's still alive. Wait, really? Yeah, David. Allegedly. <laughs> he's allegedly still alive. <laughs> I don't want to get sued here. <laughs> hey, I am not. I, I don't I identify as alive. <laughs> I am actually dead, and I'm going to sue don't you. Don't identify as alive. I'm going to sue you now. Can you imagine if David Duke sued someone in one? <laughs> Well, that's a bit of an interesting conundrum because technically his old movement was protected under the Free Speech Act or whatever. Not act. The, like the, the Free Speech Act. Well, like the, the idea. The right. Of, yes, the right of free speech. I'm here criticizing people who don't want to read and I call it the Free Speech <laughs> Act. So what the hell am I doing? Because like that went to civil court. or uh, Supreme, Supreme Court. Supreme Court. <laughs> That went to the Supreme Court before. I'm losing my mind Jeez, here. Jeez, like, what is this? And they defended it. I was like, I don't know how. I do <laughs> not know how this is okay, but all right. I have no idea. I don't understand. But, you know, I guess I don't make the rules. Right. Uh, I do. Oh, okay. I make the rules. Thank you, President Nate. Someday I will be president. Sorry about that. When I, when I become president... Can I init can I uh, initiate an act? Can you act? be able to speak when you become president? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, can I initiate an act that you want to fight family? allows me to decide the rules? And if I get offended by something, I can decide if it's right or wrong. That's called an executive order. They've been doing that for about 15 years. <clears throat> cool. Okay, that exists. No, no, no. Oh, man. What? Oh, wait, no, that's right. Sorry, I thought you had to go to the tower, but you do it here. Yeah, yeah like, what are so, you talking about? Sorry here, jeez, Karen. Did you know Karen spelled backwards is Nirak? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize this. No, no, wait, wait, save on eight. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Okay. Thank God. Phew. Very, very concerned <coughs> about that one. Do you think if I ever become president, do you think... No. Do you think we could still make, like, Let's Plays, and would that boost your channel's popularity? I think it would boost the the... It would definitely boost my popularity, but I'd probably get death threats. <laughs> you know, so... So you wouldn't like it, is what you're saying? Probably not. You don't enjoy death threats. Probably wouldn't be a big fan of the death threats, but I don't know. I mean, you know... I love death threats, Anything, actually. Any publicity is good publicity. No, you need to go back to where Tink was. I know. I accidentally went up here. Stinkerbell. Dude, Tinkerbell is so hot, but she's so small. It's such like a... It's like a what, problem. What does her height have to do with anything? Well, no, but I was like, there's no way to procreate with Tinkerbell. There there's is. Just no, well, no, not really. I, I mean, oh, it, oh yeah, okay. Well, I don't want to get into it, but essentially, it would be like the movie um, Get Out. Or, I've no, never no, seen that. No, not Get Out. Uh, don't breathe. It would involve a turkey baster, like the methods of reproducing with Tinkerbell. But my point is that, like, I don't think that it would be enjoyable for the human party of it. You know, so that's my point. So anyway, so I started it looking up Tinkerbell Rule 34. <laughs> it could be enjoyable for the human part of it. 
You just have to be okay with Tinkerbell dying in the process. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. I like Tinkerbell. Okay. But then it gets better. I'll bet Peter knows what she's saying. Oh, hey, by the way, I want to I wanna take my screenshots since you're incompetent and unable to do this for yourself. <laughs> you can't press a button. <laughs> oh, wait, how do I... <laughs> you want to get rid of Goofy? Oh, Goof Troop? <laughs> oh, man, I make this joke about this dumb movie every two seconds. I'm Nate. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah, it's you funny. clearly have never seen Goof Troop. What is it, stink? You want to go to the cock tower? Clock tower? The cock It's up to you, sir. <laughs> Let's go. It's like that tower from the original cut of The Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did that happen? That was, that was an accident, right? I think so. It's like, just like, I don't think someone did that on purpose. Literally just Triton's tower, and they're like, Let's draw a penis. Yeah, I don't That'd think be that funny. was... I'm pretty sure that was not on purpose. Oh, whoa. I they, love this guy. They recolored him in this. Uh, he's like white like he used to just be like totally like that blackish color yeah and then like he had the yeah he used to be like black here, here. and now he's white go, 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 go. what do what I don't I've never beaten this guy so you have to like hit him with magic I think and like when he like you remember it's that's yeah fire I think so um, you have to wait till that thing that's ice oh you have to hit him with like the certain magic yeah he's kind of like the uh, I think that's electricity Actually, I don't know what that is. Maybe you just hit that physically. There's one that you could just hit. Um, oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. So oh. Do you see how he's, he's got the countdown? You have to press stop on that clock. You have to get over there and do stop run. That doesn't matter. It's too late. Oh. And I did so, gravity. So now Peter Pan is out of the fight permanently. What? Why? Yeah, it's like a curse thing. So you have to like stop the clock when he starts doing a countdown on somebody. What the heck? How, what? Can we like restart this then? Yes. Okay, should I still have him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, stop healing me, Donald. Come on, hit me. Hit me! Hit me! Hit me. I want you to do it. Hit me. Come on. So I'm like, like when, he does, when he does that countdown, you have to run over to the clock and do stop, which is L1 triangle. Okay. You have to get to the clock arms and do that. And that will prevent that person from dying. But I think they eventually die no matter what. Why? Cursed. Because, oh. like, it'll start going again, and you have to, like, stop it again. You have to keep trying to manage that. That's dumb. It's an annoying boss. It's very annoying. Well, it's Stopra, okay, Aroga, Karaga. You might want to stop the clock again. I'm sure that worked. Okay, so, can you try hitting that? Okay, really? I'm, like, a foot away from him. Yeah, well, that's lightning. Nice. You got it. Now what? Uh, I think it just kind of keeps going in this cycle. So heal again. You're doing one of the m most like difficult bosses in the game. Items. Do do a elixir. Mega elixir. Wow, we need to add more items. Oh, dude, stop. Oh, wait, look, stop the clock. clock. Stop the clock. Did that work? Yes. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, jeez. What the heck? I thought it did. You were, like, not close enough, I guess. Now, so, what is this thing? I, I don't know. Heal. Try hitting it with your keyblade. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. So, the clear one is hitting with the keyblade. Okay. Thunder. This is, like, a, this is literally a boss we can't even talk during. I know. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Okay. Did that work? Yeah, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. What? That's fire. Oh, like, no. Really? Well, it's like... Fire. What do you have, Sonic here? Like, calm down. <laughs> Pretty much. Fire. Nice. Okay, now what? Uh, stop the clock again. Nice. If you just keep it stopped, Peter Pan can't die. But the, the main problem is you dying. So, like, if Peter dies, whatever. You know, then we just need to try and defend Donald. That one you have to hit physically with your Keyblade. Oh, no, Peter's gonna die. The clock cool. started again. You have to hit that one physically with your keyblade. Nice. Good. Lots of damage. Okay. Now that's a lot of damage. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. What should I, what should I use? An ether? Yeah. Or, no, or an elixir. I, I don't know. It was like... It, and that ether was good, and then he hit us randomly. <clears throat> okay, really? Why does that have no range? Would I be like literally touching the guy? Like I need to yeah, be. Do an elixir. Do an elixir. Oh, we need to stop the clock. Stop the clock. Come on. 
Nice. Okay, good. Fire. Well, I wish I could have all these on here, so I don't have to keep really like. What I, I understand that we can't. Do I have to be exactly. like Joe Biden yeah, yeah. to this guy? Like, to hit him. why do I have to be like right next to him? <laughs> I don't know. Why like, is he the butt of every joke? Like that one didn't even make sense. He has a lot of jokes. Okay, dude. here, stop, stop. I'm there trying. Nice. Wait, I stopped it. It still didn't work. Ah, it must have been too close. Oh man. The problem with this boss is it solely relies on magic, uh, no, which one you can easily run out of magic. Yeah. And two, your magic is, despite what the game makes you try to believe, your magic is not actually that powerful. No. So it's, you're trying to fight the boss on a weaker ability and on something that you can easily run out of. Oh. Okay, okay, go stop. I need to go stop. I can't believe that didn't start again. I know. What? How did that miss him? Well, it's too far away, dude. The draw distance and the fall off with the fire. Like, I know you don't understand these things because you're an idiot, but like... Can you explain to me the physics of here, it? Heal, heal, heal. Oh, that's a hitting one. Heal, heal. No, that's, that's Blizzard. Nice. Nice. Okay. Nice. Cast Aroga on yourself. Aroga on yourself. Because this, like, that'll bounce this off, this attack. Okay. It goes flying off of you if you have a rogue on, if that hits. See? So now that's not going to be hitting you. Nice. Yeah, see? I learned that by the power of observation. Now, that one you hit. <clears throat> okay. Oh, jeez. Who is this guy supposed to be? Like, the ghost of Christmas past or something? <laughs> like, what is he, anyways? I think you have to stop the clock again. Yeah, it's at nine. What the heck? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to use an elixir. Okay, I guess it had gone forward at some point a little bit, but that's a blizzard. Jeez. Okay, he actually like... does look like the ghost of Christmas <laughs> past from that Scrooge movie. Which one was that? Like the the one with Patrick Stewart. Ah, uh, it's just called a Christmas Carol, right? Yeah, just a Christmas Carol. Or, or, yeah, Christmas Carol. I was thinking a Christmas Story, but that's the one with the little kid. Yeah, that's oh, just the hit one. Okay, really? Well, like, you have no range, even though we have the longest Keyblade in the game, and we're fighting basically, like, the Flash here. I know. Okay, I'm like... Do do Arrow again on yourself. Yep, because he's casting that. So this thing, if you don't have Arrow on, it stays on you and keeps hitting you. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, that that's one's the, the hitting. Hit one. Oh, nice. Man. I just have to, like, beat this guy with that. Literally the joke you've made 500,000 times. Yeah, it's funny. Every time it's funny. It's funny every like, time. Literally the Let's Play video is me just making ball it's jokes. It's two jokes. And... The ball jokes and beating someone with a keyblade. Which, I don't know how that's a joke. It's literally just an observation. Okay. Uh, oh no, oh no! Wait, I don't have any things. Elixir, elixir. I'm trying. I'm freaking trying. Like, what the heck? Let's stop that. Heal. Or, uh, okay. cast arrow. Let's just do this. Doing an elixir? I'm doing an ether. Oh, it's Blizzaga. Come on, come on, stop moving. Well, part of the problem is he's Usain Bolt. So, like, you have to basically do what that guy on the Segway did and just take his <laughs> I was going to say he's Usain Bolt, like, pre-Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Usain Bolt's, like, arch nemesis, a Segway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're just going to do this one more time. I don't even care that I wasted it. Try doing a stop. Okay. Okay. Now, now we're good. Unless it just like targeted on him. Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, that's fire. fire. Nice. Yep. So he's down to that. Dude, you're gonna beat him. Hopefully. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hit me! Hit me! Watch you do it! Hit me! Hit me! Oh, that's a hitting one. Oh, Blizzard. Nice. Yeah, he's out. Nice. So I did all that work. No, you didn't. You lost like three times. You you're wanted, a, you wanted to quit and go home. You you're a so very mad. you're a very very good uh, supporter, Thank and you. I'm the good one at playing. Thank here. you. You literally wanted to go home and quit because you were so pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, he's dead. He's having like a stomach ulcer now. He fell off the building. <laughs> it's like some kind of weird. We're just like sitting thing. there, like watching him have a stomach ulcer. Stopka, nice. We got it. That's it. That's that boss. 
He's done. Cool. We can be done. We canceled him. <laughs> You've been canceled officially. That's how we cancel people. We just murder them. You're done. <laughs> I feel like this flower could solve a lot of your problems. It'll make you bigger? Yeah. Well, why would that solve any problems? Why well, are you saying that? I don't know. I'm just saying maybe I've gotten some anonymous texts lately from why are, uh, women in your life. Your mom, your sister, your wife. Why, your why does big mean better? Well, you know, See, that's an interesting the, question. The thing is, you want to you want to have it so small that they have no idea when you're in and out. Oh, like an infiltrator. Yeah, exactly. Or or here's the thing. Here's why here's why Christians always go for people who have never had experience, right? Yeah. Now I'm talking to you as someone who went to the Christian school. I know what I'm talking about. Okay. They have no point of comparison. So if you're horrible, you're the best they've ever had and are going to get. Yeah, this is big brain time. Do you see what I'm saying? This so, is big brain time. <laughs> exactly. Now where do I go? Uh, is it this? You have to, it's one of these. I forgot where it is. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Cool. I mean, I think it has something to do with the ponds, like over there. But I don't remember exactly what you do. Oh, wait, wait. Try jumping in there. <clears throat> oh, wait. It's that thing. I think it's that thing with all, like, the millions of flowers. I think you had to uh, lightning it, but I don't remember. Okay. So wait, that, what, what, what that, am I supposed to be getting? You're supposed to get the... There's a keyblade. Yeah, you don't have it. It's called, like, the... Called the Lady something. Lady Luck. Yeah, Lady Luck. Lotus Forest. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Here we go. Okay, so this should be how so we, we get the final Keyblade that we need. I think. We already had access to this. We just didn't have the White Trinity. Right. So it looks so like we already. This... Yeah. yeah, Lady Luck. There looks we like go. we already did the work. So I think I've already lit this as well with thunder. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. And this is the room at the center has a secret. The forest has all kinds of paths. Okay, cool, awesome. So we get out of here. I think we can jump like actually right to the next boss because we're just going to jump to uh, I think Sephiroth. Yeah. So I actually had a good idea for how we close out our Kingdom Hearts series. Okay, what's... Oh, we have to read the Zemnis or Xehanort. Yeah. Zemnis. Is that what it was? No, I had a different idea. Oh, okay. What if you make a whole 20-minute episode... Okay. ...where we just show the credits? Okay, that's pretty cool. Sounds like a good idea. Why would we do that? Because it'd be cool. Oh, so you want to milk it? Yes. Okay, yes. for, for like the 25 cents we'll make off the video, you want to yes. milk it. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like that. That's American capitalism at work. The 25 cents you wouldn't have if you didn't make that video. That's a good, good point. A penny saved is a penny earned. Exactly. That's what my good friend Ben always used to say. Ben? Kenobi. Oh, okay. So we're up against Sephiroth, if you can't yeah. tell. Wait, who's Sephiroth? Uh, main villain from Final Fantasy VII. What is Final Fantasy VII? Uh, one of the best games ever made. What is a game? A children's play thing. Okay. So this is for kids. Yes. So you said you never beat him? No, I've never beat him. I've actually never gotten his health bar below the purple. Well, it might take me a few tries to actually do it again, because I am not going to be used to this at all. <laughs> this is one of the hardest... Uh, this is the second hardest fight in the game. And I'm totally out of practice. In fact, to be honest, this is farther than I've ever gotten in my life. Well, when he does this, that's a bit hard. I, is this the same voice actor that played Cloud in this? I would not be shocked. Uh, Jesus, this guy seems like impossible. Well, you just need to start like making progress. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Why do I say that? I'm the one playing. This guy seems impossible. You just have to keep hitting him. Oh, you got it down past the purple. The fact that we have second chance is like really gonna help us. Yep. I feel like this would be easier with uh, Donald, Donald Goofy. and Goofy. Yeah, just because they'll take hits for you. Yeah. And that off chance that Donald actually heals you. Oh, okay, well. Nice. Hey, have you been up to anything lately? I wanted to start a little discussion here. Maybe we'd have a little friendly banter. I've been up to no good. Oh, <laughs> oh, Woohoo! Nice. I've what's, been being a, being a hoodlum. What does that term even mean? I mean, I know it means like, like thug. a thug. Yeah, but where'd that come from? 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I feel like there's a problematic past to that war, and you've been exposed. Uh, <laughs> please don't ruin my life. All right, this is a frustrating... Jeez. Well, you need to interrupt this. Oh, was that like an ultimate move? Yeah. Oh, jeez! Yeah, I need to interrupt that, so... Which I'm not doing. Yeah, what is wrong with you? I'm a bad player. Come on. I'm literally just abusing this for the invincibility frames, I'm kidding. Okay, well, and he didn't care. Uh, there, please, please, please. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, hey, so I was going to tell you, I have officially decided my two favorite video game movies of all oh, time. okay. So, I just watched... Uh, Tomb Raider. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. I just watched... Uh, but I, I heard that's actually enjoyable. Come on! There we go. Interrupted. I just watched Sonic the Hedgehog for the first time ever. Nice. That is at the top of the list. Okay. That is my favorite video game movie of all time. I've never seen it, actually. Okay, well, I'm not going to say too much about it. But I'm going to watch it soon. But you should watch it. And okay. my second favorite one now is Detective Pikachu. Nice. I also have not seen that. Oh, well. I was going to watch that yesterday, but then I literally ran out of time. Well, that's okay. I, I wanted to give you my shining endorsement of those two movies. Okay. So that you knew they're good. What would you think about a... Uh... Yes. Okay. I was going to say a movie based around Silent Hill. There is one. But it was bad. There is one. <laughs> oh, okay. I was trying to meme. Uh, the first Silent Hill... <laughs> oh, jeez. Did you it work? Miss... Yes. If you miss that final incantation, he hits you with like a curse thing that like drops your... Did you say incantation? I did. This, this is, is an anti-Christian game. Very devilish. Oh, my gosh. Uh -oh. Uh, this is where I usually do this. <laughs> uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like, oh, oh, jeez, this is like really intense. I feel like you have to heal. I do. Jeez. You know, a video game movie that I actually like is, I don't know if it's directly based off a of video game, but it's about the characters. Uh, Prince of Persia. Oh, is that actually enjoyable? Yeah, I mean, I actually liked it. A lot of people thought it was really bad, but I enjoyed it. I am really lucky he happened to spawn right next to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. What, what is am I... going on? Oh, no. Oh, what is that? What is that? No. What is that? Uh, this is bad. That's what, what this is. What is that? This is oh, bad no. is what that is. Oh, my gosh. I uh, am. Oh, oh, this is Meteor. Man. Oh, no. That's Meteor. Oh. I feel. Oh, jeez. I'm, like, really nervous right now. I'm so nervous. I am so nervous. <laughs> what is this move? I think it's based on Meteor. Oh, no! Seven. Jeez. Jeez, he's like turning into like Olympic mode. Oh, no! He, oh, he's doing the thing! You're screwed. Oh, jeez! Oh, man! Sorry, I'm like really nervous. You and me both. What is that happening? <laughs> Uh, too much is happening. Oh my I gosh. am, like, nervous for you. Well, you liked Ready Player One as well. Yeah, ac okay, so I actually like that one a lot. But it's not really specifically based on a specific video game. No. It, it is about video game characters and stuff, but... Jeez. That's probably my favorite video game movie, actually. Of the ones I've seen, which hasn't really been that it's much. It's a good movie. Uh, really well, good. I don't know why some people hated it. Nice! Oh, dude, we beat him. Dude, how did you do it? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> way too much time on my hand as a kid. And also, high level. That's the power of the Keyblade. Oh, what is it the power of? The, the Keyblade. Okay. I also think there's a cutscene with Cloud somehow, but I don't know how to get it.
Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, you've never seen that before. No. I am so, still in shock that you actually beat Sephiroth. Well, it's not like he's impossible. He's just... <laughs> I've always known him as impossible. Well... Because every time I battled him, I never got him past that purple bar. Well, here you are in that, the presence of a Keyblade Master, some would say. Now, here's the thing. I never made it up to level 84 on any of my accounts. Well, no, wait a minute. Level 83. No, let's not be too 83, hasty. 83, I'm sorry. Let's not be too hasty here, no. We don't want to ruin my accomplishments and soil them with your fudged numbers, okay? <laughs> what are you, like a tax like collector back uh, in ancient biblical times? Yeah, nice my, name, my name is Matthew. Oh, oh, double <laughs> reference. Woo. Hey. All right, so we're going to head in here and fight Unknown. I think there's going to be another cutscene I have Whoa, to voice act. It's Unknown. Who knows? So this was added in Final Mix as well. So this... I don't know why Beast comes with us. This original boss fight was not in the original game? No. It's really awesome, though. And I don't know who this is. It's Unknown. Sam? What's that supposed to mean? So this is kind of like the fight from 2, but we're going to have like a pretty limited amount of moves. I feel like if Beast was in the cutscene, Beast should be in the battle. Oh yeah, Beast doesn't help you at all. Give me strength! Oh well, I didn't mean to waste that, but here we are. What move is this? Is this the Trinity move? Yeah. Oh. That so is... I now have no uh, MP. Uh, right, let's just like restart this fight. Okay. Okay. What was that movie? He's like, woo! <laughs> Bippity boppity boo! <laughs> Donald Summer's like, choo! Choo! Yeah, yeah. Why is he choking <laughs> off? What? <laughs> no, that was him doing the spell. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I like watching my friend get killed. He just like jerks <laughs> off. Does he have, like, a killing fetish or something? I don't know, Mr. I have an old man fetish. Like, let's judge his I fetish. I mean, what is the problem here? Like, don't you have an old man fetish? What was your favorite part of Ready Player One? Was it the fact that they could have digital VR relations and get no diseases? Was that, was that your favorite part of it? I didn't even think about that. Okay. Was it that, I'm not a whore like you. Was it that you could have a girlfriend who's bad looking in real life and Ooh. just pop them into a computer and all of a sudden they're not bad looking? Is that what you were thinking I about when you I did not it? even think about that either. Well, I don't want to use this Trinity move. It's such a waste. Like, why do you even equip this? I don't know. What does it even do? Well, I mean, like, it damages him, but, but like, not that it just much. wasted all of our MP <laughs> to damage him that much. It's just, it's stupid. All right, we'll just do this. Like, I, I want to do Ragnarok or whatever. Um, I don't know what my favorite aspect... I think my favorite aspect is just simply the fact that you can be in, like, a video game world, have, like, your own video game life, do whatever the heck you want. Right. And then... 
that's it. Like, your real life doesn't really matter. So to you, it's the fantasy. Yeah. You want your real life to be worthless. Exactly. I, like, it I already want, is, but... I want, I want the fantasy. Jeez, you are... You need to get an Aroga. <clears throat> oh, jeez. I'm, like, really nervous again, even though you're almost beating him. Yeah, I, I honestly don't remember this being this easy. Did they... Well, I was going to say, did they fix this for the final mix, but they added this for the final Yeah, no, and I'm on uh, Proud Mode, so it should be a lot more difficult. Right. Oh, this thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I feel like you need to heal. We'll be fine. This is literally like an hour. Oh, this, this move looks like it sucks. Oh, that looks like the move from 2 that he uses. Yeah, that's the thing. He that's, uses a lot of his moves from 2 that's here. That's awesome, They're actually. like nerfed versions of them. That is literally probably my favorite Kingdom Hearts moment. Yeah, the and number whole, two like, when, like, laser blast Yeah, thing. and then, like, you and uh, Riku are, like, jumping over each other, like, blocking it. That was awesome. Well, I could be blocking that, but I don't even really need to, so what's the point? This looks really intense. The problem is you can abuse these moves to just get invincibility frames from Pepper. Like, yeah, like, I know. Like, I didn't even just have to dodge that at all. all yep, right. this looks... Heal, 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 quick. Heal. Heal. We're good, we're good. <laughs> can we arcane him through this? Yeah, we kind of can. Nice. Oh my gosh. I'm like actually really nervous right now because like you're almost winning, but like you need to heal. Jeez. Literally only like probably a couple more hits on him and you won. Yep, we won. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. It's an exciting thing. Oh. Here. We're, we're doing exciting stuff here on the channel today. I wasn't talking at all this whole part. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I was like so invested in beating him. <laughs> so what do you get from beating him now? I don't even remember. The satisfaction, as EA would say. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you want to feel the satisfaction of having beaten him? Yeah, I, I feel really satisfied right now. He's like, impressive. Most yeah. impressive. Oh yeah, he got to look at what's down under, and he is pleased. This will be enjoyable. You realize Sora's a child. Yeah, but does Zemnis realize that? Oh, Zemnis probably thinks he's older. <laughs> like how he talks down to him. It's beyond your comprehension. <laughs> okay. I know he's a, he's an actual ass. <laughs> him, like all the Ansem forms are. I am inevitable. I am who I am. Only God can judge me now. Nice. <laughs> oh boy. The EXP necklace, Ansem's Report 13. Is there only 13 of them? Yes. So we got them all? We've gotten all of them. We let's got them, R2. Castle Chapel. All right, let's, we got them, R2. Let's take an actual look now. Can we go <laughs> save it before you die and have to do this again? Why would I die? There's nothing Nothing spawns here. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, Donald uh, backstabs you. Oh, he turns on me. Yeah. He goes Judas on me and just decides <laughs> to take me out. Yeah. All right, well, we'll save here. Donald's, like, talking to Riku and saw you hanging out with other people. He's like, hey, he evil. has another friend. It's time to He's kill like, him. He's like, i to kill him. Okay, you pointed out we should go actually to one final place to read the Ansem reports. Yeah, get some epic background music. That's the end of the world. Now this is epic. Now this is ep epic. No, so my favorite part, dude, let's think about the digital brothels. E-girls that you can spawn in front of you. Yeah. You do whatever you want. You know? I, yeah, you can do whatever you want to them. With them. Is that what you're saying? No. That you like, can you do whatever could, you want. No, no, no. Like, you guys could go play tennis together. Oh, whatever. yeah. You could, like, spawn an e-girl, go play tennis with yeah. her, you know, like, have fun, have a good, nice, wholesome date. Yeah, they're pretty quick. And then go back before 9. That's your curfew. Yep. You cut off. Yep. You're home. Mom's happy. You're good. Yeah. That'd be cool. Their mom's happy. You make sure their mom's happy. She's happy. She's, well, yeah, because she got rid of you. Yeah. So everybody's happy. Exactly. So let's look at the journal here. 
We've got Ansem's report. We're going to right. through these real quick. And before you click off, this is important story stuff, so you better yeah, not. stay. Ansem's report number one. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I am blessed with my people's smiles and respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance, the smallest drop can spread and swallow the heart. <laughs> I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us so? As a ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before the world is lost to those taken by the darkness. For the second one, read it in like a, a hick voice. No, I'm good. Why don't you read it? Why? No, you were so good at Wait, it. Wait, you want me to read all of them? Or why not? I, okay. <laughs> it is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments. Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate the darkness in a pure heart. Both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments cause the test subjects' hearts to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are. My treatments produced no signs of recovery. I confined those who had completely lost their hearts to beneath the castle. Sometime later, I went below and I was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seemed born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows of those who's, who lost their hearts in my experiments? All right, I'll read the next one. Oh, wow. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle, are they the people who lost their hearts? Or incarnations of darkness? Wow. Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my power has provided, or all my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there are no shortage of test samples. I feel like this is like some weird like 1920s insane like asylum. Amer or like American Black Lab or like Nazi yeah, like experiment. Yeah. You know, that actually, a real quick tangent. Did you know that there were a lot of American like, like scientific black labs going on? Like yeah. during the time that the Nazis were doing their thing. Yep. And we were like, oh man, that's horrible. What are they doing over there? <laughs> so anyways, right, we'll get what, Richie back to the basement. Let's do some How many people testing. did you kill today? Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. And it was usually taken from minority communities and communities that no one would miss, like the poor. Right. Yeah. So anyways, continue <laughs> reading about uh, Ansem. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them Heartless. That's pretty good. That's going to go in your huge Ackman, like uh, <laughs> when, you, when you play huge Ackman in his biography, his biopic. How'd you know my name was Hugh Jass? Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll read this one. The Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I've provided them both living and non-living samples. They've responded only to the living. They seem to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the Heartless become Heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. I passed 8th grade science lab. <laughs> I must also study their behavioral principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence, like a cheerleader. That was a joke. <laughs> Cheerleaders are hot. LOL got them. <laughs> How to communicate with them? Question mark. It's just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? Oh. All right, do this next one as uh, a Palpatine voice. Well, I was trying to do my Ansem voice. Okay. Aren't, aren't I going to break immersion? Well, now I want a Palpatine <clears throat> voice. To study heartless behavior, I picked out one for observation. It wiggled its antenna and, as if sensing a target, headed deep into my castle, into the castle. <laughs> In the deepest part of me, of the castle, its antenna began vibrating as if searching for something. My clit. <laughs> Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole. 
but it didn't seem to be locked, so I opened the door. Was this like Bill Cosby? <laughs> what I saw on the other side t- mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night, I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I have opened? <laughs> I'm done with Palpatine. That hurts my throat. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. I'll just do the Ansem voice again. Okay, we'll go back to yeah. Ansem. That was that was actually his uh, entry when he had uh, a strep throat. Yeah. Or another trending virus that I don't want to mention. Perhaps he had. Yeah, because you don't want to get demonetized. Per- perhaps he created a trending virus from the Heartless. Ooh. We'll See, never know. This is why we played the game. It's current events. They do kind of look like bats. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Numero somewhere is like. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> A massive core of energy lay beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is this energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts and they yearn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart. To the heart of this world. There is no proof. But having felt that immense energy, I am certain that was the heart of the world. This is where, like, Ben Shapiro cuts in and says, Okay, look, there's no proof. Facts don't care about your feelings, (laughs) Ansem. The heartless are trying to take hearts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? It's a good question. I know. I am now studying material from the meteors that rained down that fateful night. What a find! That's like a Trump tweet. Like Jewel Burn here? (laughs) I thought that was a Trump tweet. He just has like an exclamation. (laughs) (laughs) The material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to the touch, and when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. None of the records I've scoured even mentioned such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Is that a Sora reference? Definitely not. <laughs> could there be uncharted worlds uncharted. there? My curiosity never ceases to grow, but I should stop speaking of such unrealistic dreams. For now, there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. There is no doubt that the Heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and the mysteries surrounding, shrouding, wow, sorry, the heart. Cut to like a a, a triple X parody of like a a young Heartless intern, like working with a older Heartless, you know, scientist trying to discover the mysteries of the heart. (laughs) Anyway, continue. Okay. As a start, I have built a device that artificially creates Heartless. By recreating the conditions that spawn the Heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's tests run successfully created a Heartless. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally create heartless showed nearly identical okay. traits, so, so, so but now, the two types should remain distinct for a- the purposes Ansem, okay. of this experiment. Ansem, it's all right. So, Ansem, take your insulin. Uh, I will mark the ones that are created artificially. Okay, I'm glad. Sorry. I'm glad you're good here. You oh, will. hey, by the way, so this. Uh, you know the Heartless that have, like, hearts on them? Like, yeah. drawn on them? Like, the Soldier, and most of them in the game that aren't the Shadows or Neo Shadows. Yeah. Um, I believe also the another one is that Shadow Ball is, is a naturally occurring one. Most of the Heartless you fight in this game are created by Ansem, originally. Oh, they are, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they're Emblem Heartless. And so Emblem Heartless are the artificially created ones. The little... A little that? bit of lore. I thought you were bringing up Lil Bill, like the hit Bill Cosby <laughs> child show, which exists. Look it up. Look up Lil Bill. Simply astonishing. Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king, and his vessel is built of the material that composed the meteors. 
He called the pieces gummy blocks. It seems that my opening the door has opened a path to interworld travel. We talked for countless hours, but one story in particular caught my interest. That of a key called a keyblade. The keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power. One legend says its wielder saved the world, while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this keyblade is. A key opens doors. Mm. It must be connected to the door that I have opened. I feel like he has like a love interest and she locked herself in her room. Yeah, he's like, he's oh, like man, well, that key opened open the door. It's kind of like the opposite of the the princess being locked in the tower by the creep. Yeah. The creep's trying to get in the tower. Yeah, exactly. She's like, please don't open that <laughs> no, door. just please get out of here. Him. And he's like, did you have a key that could open the no, door? No, 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 <laughs> don't tell him, don't tell him. woo <laughs> Okay. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire those hearts. Born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that is it. The heartless come from other people's hearts, and as does the darkness. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. So really, Ansem wanted to become a god. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Yeah, why be a king when you could be a god? Right. And when King Mickey came, he brought the album Jesus is King. Yeah. The new bumping tracks from Kanye West. Yeah. And, and that's then, really what pushed him over. And then the Ansem, when he took the, the album, was like, thank you, Mickey. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> Opening the door to a world's heart causes its walls to crumble. These fragments are seen as shooting stars. This explains why these gummy blocks can travel freely to other worlds. I know the catalyst of this collapse, the appearance of the Heartless. However, it will take time to search out the world's doors and to retrieve each heart. Furthermore, the doors can be locked using a keyblade, making the heart forever unattainable. I must take action before the wielder of this key appears in this world. If the princesses and the keyblade are connected, they should resonate. I've chosen a girl. <laughs> I don't know if she holds the princess's powers, but I will find out. <laughs> she may lead me to the key bearer. I shall set her free and observe. So is that Kyrie? Yeah. Yeah, so he found Kyrie, which is why she was in Hollow Bastion in the flashbacks. Yeah. And by setting her free, she ended up at Destiny Islands where not only one Keyblade wielder was, but two. I feel like uh, Ansem here is uh, very closely related to a Mr. Fogel. Oh, because he likes hanging out with kids and yeah. then sending them off to play and then collecting them later? Yeah, exactly. Allegedly. <laughs> well, okay, what if he was exonerated? No, no I know. I, I don't want to get sued here by, by Subway Boy. Okay. <laughs> the body is gone. The heart should have returned to the heartless, and yet nothing. This one is unlike any other. Its memories remain, and it has yet to take the form of a heartless. A close eye must be kept on the situation. Much is still unknown. Who is he talking about? Uh, it's not Kyrie, right? I don't know. Unless this was, unless he wrote report. What is this? Twelve after taking Riku's body, which is possible. Maybe I don't know. To get to the realm of darkness, one must go through the doors of Kingdom Hearts. The place where the world's hearts connect. Beyond this world is a place in which darkness reigns. Details shall be archived in a separate report. <laughs> there are many worlds in existence, some of which we know nothing about. The world in which we live, the realm of darkness, the realm of light, and the world in between. Wherein lies true nirvana. Well, they would tell you that uh, it's not in the song uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit because they kind of hate that song. It's the only song people know from nirvana. Yeah. And so people, like, 
people, you know, Nirvana play the song smells like Teen Spirit, and they get really tired of it. So to answer Ansem's question, it's not in that song. The only thing I know about Nirvana is that really weird uh, album cover. Well, the one with the baby penis. Yeah. 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 That's a, that's a thing. I, I feel like I... It was censored, so there was no baby penis. I feel like Ansem would definitely love that album. I think you would, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh-uh. Give me just a second here. This is the final answer report. I gotta, I gotta, gotta stretch. build up here. Gotta get ready. Okay. Do some like uh, voice. Yeah. La 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 la. Okay, I think you're ready now. And some it wants to become a god. <laughs> Where does the body go when it separates from the heart? If the soul remains within the body, is it still considered to be deceased? When the heart returns to the heartless, the physical form disappears. But that is merely true in this world. Perhaps the body exists in another form, in another world. If that is the case, then it is possible for one to exist in two worlds. A being that is neither darkness nor light, belonging nowhere, abandoned by its heart, a mere shell of its former self. The relation between the heart and the body is complex, however, I am certain that if your self exists here, then by definition, the other cannot truly exist. The other, the one which does not exist, shall be dubbed nobody. Wow. So that's the thing. This really foreshadows Kingdom Hearts 2, actually, if you go through all of these. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I actually never read these. Yeah, well, it's worth reading the lore in any video game, especially the FIFA soccer franchise. They have a, a deep <laughs> it's my favorite lore, lore as well. My so. favorite. So what do you think about this? I mean, we're going to close out the, the Let's Play, really, because there's nothing more to do. We beat the final boss. We beat all the secret bosses. We're not going to 100% the game here. We should have a video of us platinuming the game. I feel like that'd be really boring for people. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't you think so? Have like a... F- 30 hour video of doing like our 15 hour uh, challenge run that'd be terrible i don't okay. think they want to see that maybe in a few years if we're like kingdom hearts again <laughs> okay but uh we're gonna definitely take a break from kingdom hearts for a while then i think we'll come back to rechain of memories as much as i don't uh. really like that game uh, and then kingdom hearts 2 but we're gonna play some stuff in between each one so that it's not boring for people so, and for us. And for us, yeah, because we are very <laughs> tired of this game. Yep, we're like, okay, next next game. But I had a lot of fun today, actually, in reading these. I'm yeah. sure that won't be that much fun for people to sit through, maybe. But Well, I think these are interesting because it does actually foreshadow two. Yeah. And, like, you would never know that if you didn't read these. Yeah. And, like, you get to two and just be like, well, what's a nobody? Yeah, why wasn't this ever brought up? Yeah. Well, but, it's like, well, it was. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I think uh, Final Mix did a really good job of building on this. The only thing I didn't like about Final Mix this time through was I felt like it was really easy. It was really easy, like, actually. Even these bosses were not very hard for me. I mean, I know I'd have one time because I forgot an attack, but that was it. Yeah. So I don't I don't know. That That's my only complaint about it is like it's, I felt like it used to be really hard. Right. Maybe I just grew up. I don't know. <laughs> So <laughs> You grew up and got better. And got better. Not as bad. So, hey, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Hopefully you had a fun time hanging out here with us. We're going to keep the channel going, playing some new stuff. I think Nate and I are going to play, um, I think we're going to play Spyro. That'll probably start before this even finishes. I don't know. And uh, some of our games like that. So hopefully you enjoy that. We'll see you in the next Let's Play. We appreciate all of you. Uh, say hi to your mother for me. Nice.